morning. Welcome to Hux Radiation Oncology. If you just go right around this corner, Denise will get you registered. Good morning. Go ahead and have a seat here and we'll take care of a little bit of paperwork. You're going to be seeing Dr. Hare this morning. So I have a folder here with some information and we have a couple of consents to sign and then I'm going to get your picture for identification. Anytime you have questions, my name is Denise and Shelby is out front. So we'll be glad to assist you any way we can. So when we get through with this, one of the nurses will come out and take you back shortly. Hi, I'm Tanya, the nurse. I'm going to take you back and get you ready for the doctor. People come for, for evaluation. Um, they've been referred by a doctor, usually for a malignancy, but not always. Um, occasionally we see patients from the very scratch uh, and start the evaluation for them. But it's really like going to any doctor's office. Um, when they come in, they obviously they get registered and then a nurse talks to them and gets some basic uh, data. And then uh, in the meantime, the doctor's evaluating all of the x-rays and uh, pathology reports and information about the patient. And then we would go and talk to them, get the history of what's going on and then we examine the patient and then uh, review the films with them typically and then if there's uh, if they're going to receive radiation therapy then we discuss why we would recommend that and what the process is going to be and what the potential risks and benefits of the treatment would be. Well the next thing that would happen is uh, the patient would have what we call simulation. It's called simulation because uh, we want everything to be exactly the same with what we plan, with what we deliver. So we take the person to our CT scan. The therapist would make any devices needed to hold the patient steady on the, the treatment table and make them comfortable. We would then get a, a scan of the patient uh, so that we would then put that in our treatment planning computer. Uh, then the patient would leave after we had obtained that information and after they're gone, uh, we would outline on the CT scan where we wanted the treatment, outline all of the normal anatomy that we don't want treated, and then the doctors in conjunction with the physics staff and uh, part of the physics staff called dosimetrists, um, we would uh, devise multiple uh, plans to try and uh, determine the best way to deliver the radiation. I think we have a very good reputation for taking good care of people. Um, in the radiotherapy we have a superb staff. Um, the hospital has, uh, for example, even from its very beginning, uh, we have a, a full-time chaplain um, who the patients totally love, who basically calms people from the minute they walk in the front door. Uh, many patients are very anxious when they come in and they are concerned because the first thought is cancer, I'm going to die. And so I try to put them at ease because, you know, only God knows, only God, God's in charge. And also the treatment here is very good. And so it's just kind of calming them down to know that uh, all will be well one day at a time and, and that we'll get through this. And uh, cancer doesn't really mean the diagnosis doesn't mean death. It just means that right now um, there's something going on that needs to be taken care of and, and it will be and in God's time it will all be okay. We have a dietitian who's with us a couple days a week so people get attention to dietary support. Um, I constantly hear how lucky I am to have the, the girls that give the treatment every day because they just take really good care of people. So I think that um, the perception in the patients that come is that they walk in the door anxious and within a few days they realize that uh, it's a bad situation but yet they're getting top-rate care and uh, the people are very interested in them and are going to take good care of them. So I think that they become very comfortable. Um, so the first day people come they may be squirming on the treatment table because they're anxious but by the second or third day they fall right back into the place they're supposed to be and uh, we turn on the music for them, walk out of the room and come back and get them in 10 minutes and um, they're good to go and uh, they realize that uh, uh, they're in good hands.